of the problems that we looked at uh, uh, was um, was the summation the summation of every single element in a matrix. So uh, just to put things in context, we had a matrix. We had a matrix here, and the matrix had uh, some numbers in there. So let's make these up: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and um, and uh, this could be any kind of a matrix. It could be any matrix uh, of dimensions n by m. And um, and my question was, uh, write me, uh, give me, give me, give me some Haskell code that basically sums up, sums up every single, every single element in this, in this matrix. So the answer was, uh, I mean, just from a visualization purposes, what I was looking at is basically when you sum these things up, so you're looking at uh, one plus two plus three plus four plus five plus six seven eight and nine, that gives you back a forty-five there. Okay, so the question was, write me a function, write me a function, let's call, I don't know, um, some matrix. Okay, okay, so some matrix, okay, and uh, it simply takes the type that is associated with this, with this function, it takes in, it takes in basically a matrix, which happens to be a list of list of integers, okay, and it gives you back, it gives you back as an answer, just some integer, that's the idea. Okay, so you take in a matrix, you take in this matrix as your input, that's your input right there, that's your input, and what you get back as an output is this integer, as an output you get back that integer. So this input, the type signature, because this is a function, it's a function, I have my, I have my adder right there, that tells me that I'm dealing with a function here, and uh, the function sum matrix takes in this input, which has a type of this piece there, the types associated with this with this matrix there, and it gives you back some kind of an integer, which happens to be one such representation. It could be some number like a 45 there. Okay, so how would I do this? How would I put a solution together that does this? Let's first create a matrix here. So let's say let matrix, let matrix equals to one, two, three, and uh, four, five, six, Seven, eight, and nine. Okay, what I've really done here is I've created I've created uh, a matrix that happens to be a list of list of integers. Okay, so you can see that that's my outer list right there. That's my outer list. Okay, so this is my outer list, and within that outer list, you can see that it contains it contains some kind of an inner list. It contains all these all these inner lists there. Okay, so if I ask Haskell what's the type that is associated with matrix. I get back that the type associated with matrix is a list of list of integers. Okay, straightforward, nice, nothing, nothing fancy. Um, but then I ask you in the question, one of the questions I asked you was, uh, what is the uh, as part of your implementation, there are, there are these helper kind of these helper methods that are given out there that, that you may you may want to use. So one of the helper methods was the map method, and the other one was uh, I believe the I believe the sum method. Okay, so uh, just to but again, things in context, just to make sure we understand this, uh, the map function, again, you just want to relook at my earlier video where we kind of explored this in depth. But essentially, the map function is a function in Haskell that takes in as a first parameter a function that goes from A to a B. It takes in a list of A's and gives you back a list of B's. The sum function, the sum function in Haskell basically takes in a list of A's and uh, gives, you back, uh, gives you back some A there. But there is a constraint, there is a constraint associated with A, and the constraint is that whatever this A you're dealing with, whatever is the type that this, this A there, that type must be must be some kind of a number. Okay? So it could be an integer, it could be a number, it as long as it's some something that happens to be a, 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 a subset, a subset of the of the number, uh, that's completely, completely fine. Okay. And um, likewise, there is no type associated with this A and B there, which means, as you can theory, the, the the way the map function has been has been implemented is that um, is that there's 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 nothing that uh, there's no constraint associated with an A and a B there. Okay, so the way I put the solution together is let's just first explore our solution using type signature, just simply simply using type signatures. So if I just use type signatures, uh, um, let's take a map type signature which is from an A, a function that goes from A to B, and um, and then I have a list of A's, and I get back a list, a list of B's there. Okay, what kind of a function do I have right now that goes from an A to a B? Well, one such function, one such function is right there, sum. 
sum is a function that basically goes from a list of a's giving you back some a there okay so this the type signature of sum completely falls in this in this in this piece there okay it's completely falls in that piece there so let's do that let's replace everything in this function with where uh, where a now where a now takes the type of a list of a's and this b over there this b over there basically becomes becomes just a there so if i do that if i if i just substitute this type okay and remember i can only do that because there's no constraint on a keep that in mind there's no constraint of a there there's no constraint of b here a could be anything b could be anything so why don't why don't we just replace a's whenever i see a in my map remember this entire thing this entire thing is the signature of my of my map function i'm going to replace everywhere i see an a with basically a list of a's so coming back over here this becomes a list of a's this b over there becomes just a okay and uh, what did I replace A's with? Well, I replaced all my A's with a list of A's. So this, I still have my square brackets, the outer square brackets. Every A has been replaced with a list of A's. So let's make that a list of A's. And what do I get back? I get back basically a list of B's. What's my B there? The B in this case is basically this A that I that I've substituted. Okay. So this is kind of the kind of the map function the the, the 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 type signature associated with the map function the moment the moment i replace the function f the first parameter f with this function sum there okay so so this is what it looks like so which means if i call map followed by sum okay sum is a function that basically goes from a list of a's to an a and that's exactly what i have there from a list of a's to an a okay so map takes in a first parameter which is a sum a second parameter should be a list of list of a's but let's again think about this is there a constraint on a now well the constraint on a is that a must be a number okay so whatever this a is it must be some kind of a number do i have a list of list of a's where a is some kind of a number i do i already have that matrix right there it's basically a list of list of integer an integer is a number so let's pass in a second parameter and uh, remember these are the spaces here so these are my spaces right there so let's put another space there okay so let's not confuse this with an underscore so uh, so you get the idea that's a space there there's another space a, a second space there and I'm going to put a matrix okay when I pass when I call map with a sum and a matrix what do I get back I get back a list of A's I get back a list of a's but what exactly is a there well a is a number that's a constraint the a that i'm dealing with over here the a that i'm dealing with over here is some kind of a number so let's make that a little bit more explicit okay the a that i'm dealing with some kind of a number so what does this entire thing what's the entire type associated with this piece there the entire type associated with map some matrix is something that happens to be a list of a where a is a number but what I really want, what I really want in my function sum matrix is not a list of numbers. I just want a scalar value, just a scalar value that happens to be a number. So how do I get a number from this list of A's? Okay, so if I take this entire piece there and if I just sum this up again, if I just call sum again on this entire piece, on this entire piece, the type now will be not a list of A's for this entire big expression is just going to be an a how do i know that because sum sum is a function that takes in a list of a's it takes in a list of a's and gives you back gives you back some a there so this entire piece we already know that the type that is associated with this entire piece in red this entire piece in red is some type that is a list of list of a's and then i call sum on that sum basically takes in that list of a's and gives you back an a so the entire type associated with this piece in blue now in this blue in this blue piece which happens to be this entire thing now has a type of just a where the constraint on a is that a is something that happens to be happens to be a number okay so would this be some kind of a solution that would sum up every single item in my matrix well let's try this out let's try this out so so given my matrix given my given my matrix which is right there i'm going to just say what is max sum of 
matrix. Let's just let's just let's just try this out. Okay, so my matrix again was basically uh, just so that you are aware. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. What I get back over here is basically is basically a list a list of A's. What is this list of A's telling you? So if you think about this, what it's essentially done is that on this matrix, three plus two plus one is six. Okay, the the summation of the first row is six. The summation of the second row is uh, is six. Six plus four is ten. Fifteen. This gives you back fifteen. And the summation of the last row over here is basically is basically twenty four. And this happens to be that list there. Okay. So the summation, this piece over here, this piece over there is the summation summation of every single entry in row one. This piece over there is the summation of every single entry in row two. And this piece there is the summation of every single entry in row three. But how do I get the summation of the every single thing in my matrix? I still want a scale up quantity. Well, then just sum up this, this, this piece there. I just want you to sum up this entire piece, this entire list there. And if this color is a little bit confusing with all the blues, let's just put this in red. This entire piece in red should be summed up again. Now, how do I sum up the entire piece in red there? Okay, so coming back to my code, the type associated with map sum matrix is basically a list of integers. So if I call sum again on the entire thing, on the entire thing, I get back the final answer that I was looking at, which was, which was 45. Okay, now this code can further be simplified by using function composition, but we're going to look at function composition a little bit later uh, next week. So I just don't want to jump uh, ahead right now. I just want to kind of recap what we have done in the last week. So you could now create your own function called some matrix that takes in this um, some value m that happens to be of type of list of list, list of integers, and you get back you get back in this case of that kind okay and now if I call some matrix if I call some matrix with the matrix that I created earlier I get back I get back the answer 45 okay so I hope this is useful as you study in your in your class and um, and again uh, I look forward to meeting you meeting you next week